will be. Josh Levs is uh, here. He's going to take us through the operation, show us exactly where we are right now. Josh? Yeah, that is the goal, and you're right. We're all having to learn a new, a new lexicon every day, and we're having to figure out all these new steps that they're taking. I want all of you to understand the drama of what could happen today. All these days into this crisis, it is possible that for the first time, there will be a seal put on the main gushing area of uh, this oil, and that's what we're all watching right now. In fact, let's go back to these live pictures for a second. You can take a look and see what we're seeing here. Ali was just mentioning the idea that they need to smooth out some of these rough edges. So the idea here, as these hydraulic saws keep operating, is they are trying their best, even though it's a rough cut, they're trying their best to create a setup for this. Some people are calling it a top hat. Other people are calling it the uh, lower marine riser. So a lid too. with a pipe on the top, a lid with a chimney, yeah. basically, right? It kind of looks like that. It has yeah. a chimney, yeah. And you can see that it's designed to seal it off. Now, let's keep in mind, sometimes you look at it, and this is what you see, these underwater clouds. But what it's designed to do isn't to stop the flow of oil. It's to guide the oil up to a ship that's on the surface and also to pump in methanol, which can get rid of these ice-like hydrate crystals that cause problems. Uh, just minutes ago, really, we heard from Admiral Thad Allen talking about where things stand. Listen to this. Do things uh, where there's no human access at 5,000 feet uh, that are legitimate ways to deal with these problems that have never been done down there before. And a lot of times it's going to be test, check, adaptation, and check and evolution. And that's pretty much what's, what's been happening here. Uh, they do have a duty. They're the responsible party. Uh, we're accountable for overseeing them, and we're doing that very aggressively. Mm. Allie, I can move, go, before we go, I can show you the basic yeah. idea of what we got here. So this is what everyone wanted to see yesterday, right? You have the, the uh, blowout preventer here, and then you have this riser cap that was over here. And they came along and they made a first cut over in this section. And this was the going, pipe that used to go straight up uh, to the deep water horizon. Yeah, that's right. And when that sunk, this came down. It, right, when that sunk, this came down. Right. And you had this kink here, and it was folded over there. Yeah. So they managed to make the cut here. Where they failed was making the cut at the base. That's what they were trying to do right. to make a perfect cut to get a seal on They got top. it off. It just, it's, it's jagged. It's rough. It's yeah. rough, and they didn't get it off with the, with the cutter they wanted, so it's jagged. So what they have now is this new system they're hoping will manage to plop on top and do something to at least capture some but of it. But if it were a clean cut, they would have had a unit that had a rubber seal, really sort of plugged it and took all the oil out. Right. Now some of the oil is probably going to get out. And let's keep in mind, some of it's going to get out no matter what, and what we're really looking for is those uh, relief wells yep. ahead in August. You know, It's a couple months away. They need to dig down 18,000 feet in order to create them, but when those relief wells are ultimately out there, that should pull oil away from the main well, yep. make it available so that... Uh, it's stuck in the relief wells and not there. Nothing more to gush. All right. Well